the deterioration of my handwriting. <laughs> I got a D in handwriting in the third grade. I'm an old man now. That failure continues to haunt me. I saved all the letters from girls who said they loved me. As I look back on them, I can tell the ones I liked by the handwriting alone. When that girl from Princeton Junction drew hearts to dot her eyes, I lost interest immediately. <laughs> I also hated her loopy cursive. Tiny, precise script in real ink on elegant paper gave me deep pleasure. Not scent, sealing wax, color, or watermark. As I became a man, I worked on improving my handwriting. Its sloppiness infuriated me. It was too revelatory. I stopped writing letters on pilfered bank deposit slips. I sprung for better pens. I adjusted my thinking to maximize the purity of my hand. The better my handwriting got, the straighter I stood. I filled a thousand avid notebooks. I took a mistress. My handwriting became my immaculate paramour. But recently, I've noticed I can no longer hold a pen with brash panache. My journals have become slapdash embarrassments. I open them to random ugliness. I don't have the solace of the integrity of the handwritten alphabet. Sterile email, emails and obvious fonts assail me. I don't fall in love anymore. I wish my hands could still carve the cuneiform of beauty on the waxy emptiness of thought. But all that's left to me, what is left to me? The precise boredom of processing processed.